and then Freddie pulling wider. Something's gone wrong, bad enough that somebody either call the cops or you should ask for the cops to come to help you. We're there to help, believe it or not, whether that means taking somebody to jail or taking somebody to a mental hospital or just getting everybody to calm down and step away from each other. The best thing to do is just to listen and communicate. So I got in and the choice was go to dispatch to jail. I thought, well, I'll go to dispatch because I can learn a lot there. Being on the radio side and the uh, computer side of it, you see a lot that you don't see from the patrol side. And so it helped a lot through the lifeline. Seven years later, I go from dispatch to patrol. Patrol's definitely dependent on dispatch and you go out to help people. If you go out with that intent in mind, then it makes a difference. When I'm off duty, I try not to drive around here because everything reminds me of something. I remember this call or that call, so there's a lot. It adds up, unless you learn how to deal with it, which is hard to do for a lot of people. I'm actually a TFO now. So one week a month, I get to go fly. I won't go out and go on day patrols or go on hot calls if they get called out for service. Their main position is going to be to have eyes in the sky, which you can see so much more. It's just amazing. And to control the ground units as when there's a scene, you need to set a perimeter, basically take over the radio and become a dispatcher in the sky. My previous careers, I was in middle management. I kind of pushed my own boundaries. I can walk into a situation and then get everybody to calm down. And so you, you learn something with each new career. 